Welcome to Walterville, Georgia, where Max and Joe drop in on more people who get up each morning to make good things at Lawn Chair USA. Today, well, let's just say you might want to take a seat. In partnership with Maxwell House, this is Made Right Here. Lawn Chair USA is from Walterville, Georgia. We're about 45 minutes south of Savannah. It's a small company. It's a couple of people start to finish making chairs. The aluminum framed lawn chair with the webbing across it is about as American as you can get. They're saving that, um, that little piece of Americana right here in Georgia. Everything is made right here. We purchase the aluminum, but we do all the bending and all the assembling ourselves. We also produce all of the webbing. Uh, in the department next door to us, that's the extrusion department, and they make the yarn, and then it goes down to this department, which is the weaving department. They make all of the webbing and uh, weave all that together. Then it comes to us, we cut it and assemble it. That's amazing that like the whole, basically the whole thing is made in this building. Yes, and we're gonna actually give you an opportunity to make your own. I was surprised at how complicated it is to make a lawn chair. Going into this, I thought this was gonna be an easy process. We'd be in and out in a couple hours. And you realize this is really hard to do. I line these up. Right, you line this up and get the weld joint on top. Mission control. Uh, now that's what happens if you let go of it. I think Dave basically kind of had to babysit him. I mean, he will ruin a piece of equipment, I mean, like that. You want to start by putting the tubes on and just making sure that it lines up as it goes down. He'll bend something the wrong way or he'll put his finger in the machine. And that just goes right in there. And I pull it out, back leg. Front leg. That's this is the meant. front leg, yeah. Front leg. <laughs> How you doing over here? I'm gold. We'll let you knock it all out. I just would make a whole rack of tubes, killing time waiting for Max to be done learning a single step. We'll just take a handful. Yeah, you might as well give me two handfuls. You might need three, right? Awesome. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Okay. <laughs> when you put it on like this, that is now on the, the, back, the wrong side. It needs to be that way. Oops. You know, they say they make 200 of these a day. And at this rate, maybe we'll get 10. So right. we've got a front and back leg now. Now what? Now we're gonna move on to putting the webbing together. As you can see here, Jules is ready and set up to uh, show you how what we're doing here. Jules just started here. She is 18 years old. She just graduated high school and is starting college in the fall and was just looking for a summer job, but she's doing so well that she's gonna stay on and work around her classes. How long have you been doing this? About two months. Two months? You look like you've been doing it for 10 years. Okay. To watch how fast she can do things uh, was inspirational, and you have to admire that she enjoys making things. Now, why aren't you putting one in the middle right now? At the end, I'm gonna weave two. I did all the short ones first, then all the long ones. You have to keep going in and out. Uh, now, who taught you that? David did, actually. David taught you. Dave is our maintenance guy, forklift driver, equipment operator. He just kind of does a little bit of everything, keeps everything running smoothly. He's a passionate man, both in work and out of work. I loved learning that about him. He does his job with such humility. I think he's an engineer. And he, yet, when they need him to step up and work on the line, you know, he's, he's out there working on the line, bending tubes all day. I saw what you did over there when you were giving Max a rundown, so right. just stop me when I can do something wrong. All right, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you line it up like that? Yep. To that? Yep. And then right there Stick is where you go? Good? No, no other way. Not at all. Pop and it. There you go. Pull it out. And when you pull it back out, it should be Check right that tension. tension. Dude. Okay. Has he gotten one in back there? No, David's still doing it. For okay, long. good. <laughs> you know what you want to do? <laughs> is that right? Any worse, it would have been bad. <laughs> It's really hard, that, that ice pick, as David calls it, to get that ice pick over the top of that ridge. There you go. Oh! There you go! Boom! Okay. Like so? And then stick it under there. And shove that back in. David, that is so and then cool. That's as easy as that. They got two more left. What do we have left? More than Seven. two? Jeez. <laughs> I mean, it would appear as though he's ahead of me. She did six webs for him before we even moved over to my station, so. No, over, over, over. Over, 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 over. I, right now I'm under. <laughs> oh. 
Have you heard of using them for like a backstop when you're playing wiffle ball? What's Maybe that's just a northeast. Ball? What's wiffle ball? <laughs> she said, what's wiffle ball? <laughs> Is there a sporting goods store around here? Face me on your shoulder. Oh, over. You got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we beat you. If it's cut so that it looks like he beat me, he actually did not beat me. There's no way. Check him out. Is yours bigger than mine? <laughs> These chairs have been around my whole lifetime. I'm sure my parents' whole lifetime. And that there's a company still making them right here in Georgia is just great. Anytime you see a business owner sacrifice profit just to keep something made here in the U.S., I think that's unique in and of itself. It's hard to compete with stuff that's being imported overseas, but our products are better, the quality's better, and it's nice to support the workers and provide jobs for the local economy. How long have you been here at this factory? Since 70, November 70. November of 70. Yes, sir. That's a few years. Quite a few. This is my passion. Yeah. This is my love. This is my life. This is your I life. really enjoy it. What drives you outside of work? My wife. She meets me at the door. She said, well, how was your day? I said, my day was challenging, rewarding, a blessing. Not only just from me having jobs, but other people having jobs. I'm using my skill, I'm using my gift, so other people can come and work with their own gift. And this is my passion. This is what I enjoy doing, and I love that. Lawn Chair USA. Made right here. Wall Towerville, Georgia. In partnership with Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. For more episodes of Made Right Here, go to maxwellhouse.com slash made right here.